sometimes in a wonderful setting we have some really cool experiences and some mystery here's one of them and I looked and there ah there was the bird to tell me the story? Coming off the rise, up the hill in Trinidad, down the construction crane. Here's Laura Olson with her wonderful story that started very calmly and then started to jitter. It's never happened before to me. Her grandmother had wanted a tablecloth with the rolled seam around the edge, a rolled hem, nice and neat. And my sewing machines, my surgery sewing machine, I've had forever. It's beautiful. It's like my favorite machine. It's right. all metal parts. I love it. Well, and the person that taught me how to sew, her name was Barbara Rizal. My mom wasn't really gymnastic or didn't know anything about her, that kind of yeah. stuff. She taught me growing up. And anytime I had a problem, I'd go to her house and uh, thank you. And I'd try to get her to fix it for me or do the project for me. If I got stuck, she would always make me do it myself. She'd tell me what to do. Right. So we were taking off to go to the Bay Area, and our grandmother was the old town. Wanted a what? A rolled ham tablecloth ground for a round coffee table. Oh, okay. And so I was sewing along and it was kind of a last minute project she wanted me to do. Yeah. So I was doing it and all of a sudden my sewing machine just broke. It uh. wouldn't go and it just, the thread kept knotting up and it's never done that in the last 20 years. It's always been a good machine. Well, Barbara, the lady that taught me all my crafting and, and sewing and stuff, she passed away two years ago. And um, I was, it was uh, probably about 12 o'clock at night. My son was in the kitchen making like a vegan fire or something. And I quit sewing and I was so frustrated because I really wanted to get this to Grandma. And I just, I was just like, wow. I said, gosh, Barbara, I wish you were here. All of a sudden, my phone machine started to work. And it was, Kyle was like, it was just amazing. And my son was like, whoa, that is so weird. And it was truly an amazing moment. Wow, I guess mean, you got tears. Yeah. It, it, it does, when and you get I those things, you, you, especially when you tell them, you, get, you just get tears, yeah. Wow. Wow, that is. Like, whoa. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's, isn't that, ah, that is so cool, that's a wonder, thank you for sharing that story. That was wonderful. I know, I can see the tears, you, you, you have two things, one you get tears, one you get tears because you tell the story of Barris as you're little, and you, and, you, and, you, and you get a little cramped up inside when you're telling it, and you can almost tell it's mystic because of the, when you're telling the story, you get that way. You, you know, you can almost tell you can, that how wonderful the story is, and what what magic was in because of the tears. My son was like, "Wow, this stuff's never happened before." I was like, "Wow." <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. Well, that's what we're here for. Thank you. 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 Thank